Hi, Leo. All right, so you guys have also been impatient, but just like with Scorpio, I understand why. Because you're going through a good period, but I think you're starting to self-sabotage a little bit or thinking about it, your good times or your connection with someone is leading you to look at some deeper truths perhaps or is stirring up some muddy water and that's not always easy for you guys you know you love being in love and you love having a connection and you love having a a, a flame you love the fire you love the fire but right now you have to do some inner work and some looking at some truths that perhaps are being facilitated by this great opportunity that you're having. This could be this could be a relationship, this could be a job, this could be getting into the school or getting the grades you want. It's something that makes you really feel like the universe is affirming you and giving you an outlet for your passion. As a fire sign, the Ace of Wands is a great card to get. But also as a fire sign, this can be a little bit of a difficult card to get because this is very much a watery energy. This is someone who is very tied to the subconscious and that is not readily available to you guys. You have a more heart chakra based connection. Okay, so... The Ace of Wands is getting that great opportunity, but somehow that great opportunity is causing you to look more deeply at yourself. And that can be a bit chaotic. Mm, no, that can cause Leo to be a bit chaotic in their environment, so with the people around them. So little things can tick you off, set you off, because you know you're starting to get closer to this person or the idea of a thing you really wanted, the idea that you could actually have it is beginning to give you optimism and hope. And although you live in a place of optimism and hope, when it starts to build and when you start to get your hopes up, the claws do come out a little bit if anything upsets that momentum or if you feel like anything is getting in the way of that or could threaten that, that protective Leo side of you that's like, listen, I'm happy or I like this, test me, try me, because I will, like, I will gouge your eyes out. Don't do it, you know? And the thing is, the reason you have to be careful, okay, is because, so I'm going to show you these cards that I have out. I'm just going to pull one more outcome card. I'm going to show you the cards. And then afterwards, we can talk a little bit more about how this relates to what I, you know, think that you guys need to um, take and digest this month, okay? But we're going to look at the cards first because that way anyone who is purely interested in this as a holographic exercise and understands that these cards are just a, a waveform machine basically right um they're they're not a waveform machine but they're decoders of the waveform right uh those people can just have a look at the cards and they can you know be on their way and like that's cool but um we can after we look at them we can talk a little more so when life is giving you these great opportunities now we've got two aces out. It is at these times that we can feel the most unsure. And it is at these times that we can become very paranoid and obsessive about people not being trustworthy. And we can go back and forth in our heads with this conundrum. Someone asked in the Libra video, I don't get it, should I trust myself or should I trust my boyfriend and I wrote back both and like all these people commented and were like lol because it's such a like useless answer but it's not because you know you're trying to figure out if this person this event oh there's something it's so annoying sorry there's something about the nature of this good luck and good fortune that is giving you guys a natural hesitancy or pause 
And I say natural, which might make you like raise your eyebrows and go, no, no, I'm very bold and I'm very brave and I don't have a natural hesitancy. No, but you do because you're still a cat. You're a big cat, but you're still a cat. And cats are hesitant and cats, um, are, they are curious, but they are hesitant when even when they're very curious, they're kind of feeling the situation out. So there is a natural hesitancy to you and that in no way takes away from your courage or your heart. It's just cats have a natural sense of trepidation because they have great instincts, okay? So your instincts are kicking in a little and you're going, okay, is this my instincts or is this my paranoia? Because things are going fairly well, but I am feeling this, I'm feeling conflicted and that doesn't really make sense. Like, why should I feel this conflicted when things are going well, right? Why am I starting to have this sort of reaction? And this may be very slight at the beginning of the month, or you may have already started feeling this, and that's why you may be anxious about the readings, because you can see yourself starting to self-sabotage and implode, or starting to twist the situation into something toxic. But this could also just be very mild right now and work its way into your psyche as the month continues. Because the more you like something or someone, the more you are feeling this unease and is this person lying to me now? Or is this situation not good for me? Or is this business dealing, you know, or this opportunity not exactly what I think it is and my instincts are really starting to scream that it may not be now I need an outcome card to really figure out if this is all in your head or if this is really happening and that's saying a lot because it means that whatever it is is something that you have convinced yourself of so much that even I'm having trouble discerning between the reality and your fantasy that's deep You know, let's see. So let's see. I have a feeling that this is actually in your head and that what you are afraid of is not going on. Um, I think the, I think what's happening is that you're afraid of getting close and that makes you see You know, just because someone is circuitous by nature, if you're dealing with someone like a cancer or someone reticent by nature like a Virgo or someone detached by nature like a Gemini, you can misinterpret their lack of forthcoming kind of Leo Aries energy as deceptive and, dece you know, when all they're really doing is, is like I said, they're being circuitous and that's not always, that doesn't always mean that it's lying. You know, well, again, those lines are so blurry with some of the signs, but what I'm saying is that you may be misinterpreting someone's detachment in one way or another or someone's natural, their natural direction to get to intimacy, you know? Everyone has a different road there. Some signs have a very squiggly road there, a winding road. Some signs have a trajectory that goes like this. You know, it depends on who you're dealing with. Now, not everyone, Leo, is going to get into this and go, boom, like you will. And if someone doesn't match you in that speed or in that altitude, is there something within you that says, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't be putting everything into this person because like my beautiful Leo friend told me yesterday, you know, when you're really, really okay and comfortable and happy with yourself and happy with being alone, um, that's really addictive and whenever, and that's dangerous because if you're just making this up in your head and someone doesn't deserve to be labeled this way and then you're like well I'm fine with being alone anyway so I'm gonna bounce you know that's really unfair what you've done and what she was trying to explain to me is that when you really really love being alone you're almost looking for excuses to stay alone because you love it so much and it's so much easier than having to deal with someone and you guys are the ones that can distract yourself from the reality of perhaps having a conversation like that where you say to yourself maybe I'm so quick to prefer not being in this because I'm so it's so easy for me to be alone. But perhaps the reason it's easy for me to be alone is because 
what is on the other end of the spectrum, what I have to deal with on the other end would be constantly having to negotiate my freedom and negotiate my self and my expression of self in, you know, with another person and in relation to their personality. And that can be, uh, for my, the, you know, the, 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 expansive quality of my personality finds that difficult, right? That's a very honest way to say that I'd rather be single. And what I'm saying is, you know, that quote, like a ship is safe at harbor, but ships aren't meant to stay in a harbor. That's not their purpose. So yes, is it easier to be alone and not risk this and certainly uh, you can tell yourself not risk this, but you end up here anyway. You know, if you don't take that risk on someone, if you don't open the door to someone being able to do this, you also don't open the door to someone being able to do this. And you don't open the door to someone being able to do this. So... You know, do you trust the other person or do you trust yourself? I think if you trust yourself, you will inevitably see here that the other person is trustworthy. I think the thing that is making you doubt the trustworthiness of it is the stroke of good luck here. You know, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, like you feel all this great stuff and you're also feeling insightful at the same time and quite stable. And it's like, whoa, that's all really good. That makes me nervous. You know, I'm with you. And then you start thinking all these things that you used to think before, you know, because it makes you nervous. And why? Because you're starting to have fun. You know, you can have fun in something stable and nice without thinking that this is going on. You're starting to see that that might be a possibility, you know. Sometimes Leos are afraid to see people for who they really are because they're so sure that that person will disappoint them. And you're better off with that version that you have in your head of who they are. That's like the best version of them because you want everyone to be the best version of them. You strive to be the best version of yourself, right? So now that's another card of introspection. And... This month with the Venus retrograde and the Mercury retrograde really is about going deep within yourself and perhaps maybe forgiving yourself somewhere where you let yourself down and you let yourself be lied to or you let yourself get played. And the reason you can't let go of it and you're applying it to this new situation is because you never forgave yourself for letting it happen that time. But you need to forgive yourself because you don't know everything. Everybody gets hurt. Everybody gets played. Everybody makes mistakes. You know, but you can't hold yourself to a higher standard, for example, than like, you know, the universe does. If the universe will forgive anybody, then who are you not to forgive yourself? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't have that much of an ego about it. Realize that your heart, that beautiful heart you possess is enough to get you where you want to go and get you to this reality that you so much deserve you need to realize that you have everything you need to attain that and when these things start to come into your head you also need to learn how to identify this stuff as being the lies that it is you know don't indulge this part of your brain that makes you think these things and has this running dialogue in your head about what this person is doing and what could go wrong and how you could get hurt and how you could get played. This is not in any way God-like, Christ-like, universe-like, love-like, whatever you want to call it. This is not it. No matter what is going on in your life, thinking this way, despair and doubting and deceit, none of this is the right way no matter what. Even if this stuff was going on, you still shouldn't be feeling this way because you know, Leo, very well that the way you feel is what you get back. You know that your emotions are a magnet and I know you're afraid that all of this could happen. But what I'm telling you is, and what the cards are telling you are, don't worry about it. Get centered with yourself. Focus on that brave heart that you lived through because there is expansion coming in here and there is so much good stuff. And yes, it does it seem a little too good to be true? Well, that's why you need to focus here on yourself and in your conversation with the universe, this consistent daily conversation that you're having where you're taking 15 minutes and just, you know, talking to the highest part of yourself 
and and reassessing and and you know making your plan for the day in your head and your subconscious tapping into that part of you that needs to be heard and needs to be talked to and needs to be still enough to express itself and then perhaps these things don't sneak in during the day and they don't sneak in and put you in a bad mood and pull you into a funk and pull you into saying something and doing something that you know you shouldn't do or accusing somebody of something you know just stuff to self-sabotage And the cards are saying you don't need to do that when all you really need is a little bit of stillness in your life. Like a cat can still really, really, really still. A cat can sit still like a cold-blooded animal. Maybe you need to sit still a little bit so you can find your power and realize that you deserve these things. And these things are only coming to you because you deserve them. Don't let this false narrative over here scare you. The cards say be brave and so do I. You know how I feel about you guys. You're so brave, right? And that's what you need to focus on right now because there's a lot of people all over the world for whatever reason and they're feeling very, very, very afraid. And you guys have the natural ability to inspire strength in others by being so honest and straightforward and strong yourselves. The insight that a Leo can give you by, by the very nature of the fact that they're not afraid of you. So they're going to give you their opinion unfiltered and unadulterated and really not worried that you may be offended or may not like it because what are you going to do? I'm going to tell you how it is. I love you. This is how it is. You know? And your insight is so powerful for that reason because it comes from such a beautiful place. You know? It comes from a place of wanting to help. It comes from a place of wanting to heal, it comes from a place of pushing that person into a new understanding that only your bravery and courage can perhaps get to in the mind. And you have to use that bravery and that courage for yourself now. You can't go back to being that lion without a heart and walking down that yellow brick road, you understand? You're not there anymore. We're not there, we already clicked our heels, we're all done with that. You have your heart and you can hold on to it now. You don't need to let it slip away into this abyss just because you like someone or just because things are going well and you're starting to see a future that really looks beautiful just keep your head up pick your head up sometimes people will joke with me they'll be like i saw you walking down the street i always tell them i'm like i'm muslim head up eyes down so i don't look at people why would i look at you I'm just gonna look at you. Go somewhere. This is like, pick your head up. And walk. Don't worry about this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't do it. Don't worry. This is worrying that you're about to walk off the cliff. And the cards are saying, don't worry. All you need to do is focus a little bit, and you'll see that the cliff is not a cliff, and that the cliff is actually a road that will appear under you built by your faith in yourself and in good things happening for you and in the good things that the universe is already showing you. Okay? Leo. Your reading is short but oh so sweet. I love you guys. I'll do a longer reading next time. But it was like exactly what you guys needed. Yay. I had so much fun with my Leos last night, and I have more Leos coming over tonight. So excited. I love you guys. I have, um, let's see, I have some news. I will be in San Francisco from the 1st to the 8th of April. I'll be in L.A. from the 8th to the 12th, and I'll be back in San Francisco from the 12th to the 19th, actually. I thought it was the 18th, but it's the 19th. I am taking readings in San Francisco, especially because that extra day opened up. I'm almost all the way booked, though. So uh, if you would like a reading, I would say, like, within the next week, you need to... I mean, I'm not even promising. I'm being generous by saying a week. And then I'll be back in New York for 10 days. I will also be re doing readings here, but that time slot is almost completely booked. So please reach out to me. We'll try to work something out. 
and then I'll be in Denmark for three months from May until August. And if you guys in London would like a reading, uh, get a group of people together, please organize it and I'll come out there because it's very close for me. It's a half an hour flight. So I will come out there and hang with you guys and do some readings for a weekend and fly back. And the same goes for my people in Berlin and in Prague and uh, right in Oslo as well. So big shout out to uh, my people in Norway. I, I just recently spoke to um, someone who was in Norway who was like the most beautiful soul ever and she was saying how there was like a group of people I guess in her family that get together and watch the videos and I've spoken to a couple of other people in Norway who are also doing the same thing so, so shout out to you guys I will be very close because I will be uh, near Copenhagen so uh, if you guys would like to get a group of people together I will come out there as well because I'll be there for three months so you know I'm gonna get bored so um yeah i would love to do that and i have been going to norway since i was like three years old so i love it there um and that's it i have a oh right one more thing and i think you guys will like this i have a book coming out in the spring it's called the tarot of inner work and it's basically like the way i read here and the way we use the cards to look at our inner lives and what we can do to heal and empower um, and the book will be about that and how you can use tarot to do that and also the various healing modalities that I've come up with in relation to this work okay and things just easy simple things that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis to rewire and reprogram using techniques that involve neural plasticity and neural hacking and uh, dealing with the physiology of the brain so one step above the metaphysical stuff Right, that not based in belief, not rooted in belief. You've got to believe it until you see it, not that, but more working with the gray matter of the brain where the beliefs are formed, and so having quite a lot of control over what you're able to manifest later. So really science-based stuff. Uh, that will be coming out in the spring, and it will be coming out as an ebook, as an audio book that I will narrate, and as a hardcover, inshallah. That'll be in the spring, and the hardcover is beautiful. So. That's all I've got, Leos. I hope that wasn't too much information at the end. I just want to tell you guys all this stuff because there's a bunch of Leos who are getting readings in San Francisco. So I'm just like kind of thinking that maybe there's just a lot of you out there. So I wanted to tell you all that stuff. But other than that, I adore you guys. You are so close to my heart. I'll see you in May.